guys, it's Harley Wood. So back out here at deer camp, last week I shot this level 3A plate with a field point and a lot of guys in the comments thought that a broadhead might have a better chance. Now in that previous video, I stated that I did not think it would go through. And I think what a lot of people don't realize, and I could be wrong, but these are polyethylene sheets inside of here. They're basically this real thin plastic. I'll roll in a picture here if I can find some. And it's very hard to cut. When I did my shooting with these uh, a couple months ago, I had to cut some of the slugs out and it's a pain in the ass to cut through this stuff, even with a really sharp knife. So we're gonna try it today with a broad head. I've got this guy here, and then we're gonna do a mechanical broad head also. And I've got a piece of cantaloupe. Instead of shooting it uh, through this and into the tree, I've got a piece of cantaloupe that I'm gonna stick behind here to kind of more resemble soft tissue. So let's get this set up and see what it does. All right, we've also got a drone that's gonna be flying, so you may hear a little bit of that in the background, I apologize. Up first, we're gonna do this fixed blade. All right, let me flip this around so I can see the viewport here. It did go through, but uh, I'm not gonna call that a fatal penetration. I mean, it would hurt. I wouldn't want to have it hit me, but you would live. Let's try the mechanical. Let's see if I just about an inch of penetration poked just a little hole there, but you would definitely survive. Broke them all off. All right, so that is what it did to the mechanical. Thus, why I didn't think it was going to go through. And here's what it did to the more typical broadhead just literally ripped all the fins right off, all the blades right off. All right, so there it is, guys. The broadhead through uh, body armor. I guess we were kind of both right. It did pass through, but not enough to be considered lethal, at least not in my opinion. So the Barnett 350C, lots of power, love this thing. Uh, be on the lookout for a video coming soon. I'm gonna probably do a review of that drone. Um, I got it just to get some additional kind of cool footage, so you should be seeing some more of that on the channel, assuming I don't crash and burn it before then. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button below. Lots more videos to come, and we'll see you in the next one.